What's good? Welcome back to the vlog. Today we are starting off in the Casa Bleas. I got that thing. I got that thing. So we may install this today if my other thing come in. And if you know about the other thing, and you know about this thing, so you know about the thing, pretty much. Now, but right now I'm about to head to the barber shop. I'm looking rough right now. I need to get a haircut. All right, it's windy as hell out here. Man. You would have thought like, not even the three little pigs, like the 10 little pigs blowing everything down. Like, look at my neighbor's uh, mat flying. You got garbage cans all over the place. Garbage cans all over the place over here. This man's doormat is about to be gone. Like, this one is not playing no game. Like, look at this. Flying over there, wilding out. So, we is not taking that side today. We're actually taking the shower's car. All right, so after we get my haircut, actually, the plates came in from my SI. So, I'm going to drive all the way to the other side of town and go pick those up. Don't get plates for you, don't worry. So pretty much no more perfection plate on this guy. We're gonna actually gonna be official and have license plate. I cannot wait. And then like I said, we got that thing and then I have another thing arriving in the mail. So hopefully those the other thing comes in so I can install those guys. I'll have a new haircut to write about now. All right, so um, I got my haircut done. I'm going to head to the place to pick up my plate. It's still windy as hell. It's gonna be windy like this all day pretty much. So, I'm gonna uh, have to drive all the way to the other side of town. So, I'll do a nice little, I guess, time lapse of me, you know, heading over there to the shop. Back home, it's so windy out though. I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna put this plate on. So, right now, um, I'm gonna definitely need to clean up all this wiring. Look how crazy this looks like. It happens. That's why I got this bad boy right here. I think I got it off of um, Amazon. And it's like a pretty much a cable clip set. You pretty much stick this on to something and the cables run through it. So, I'm gonna use this to clean up all of this because this is crazy right now. But I'm definitely gonna make that a separate video. I'm actually gonna jump on and edit some 5M right now and then I'm gonna go pick up Michelle later. All right, so the next day. Um, yesterday was really, really, really windy. I was just not trying to be out there. It's still windy today, but it's not as crazy as yesterday. So me and Michelle did pick up the second thing. So I'm about to bring these up to the car and I'm gonna explain what these are. So New Mexico's weather been wild because um, the temperature dropped. I got a jacket on today. It's like, what, 40 some degrees right now? The high is gonna be like 50 something. Like two days ago, the high was 75. So now it's like chilly. It's crazy. So y'all remember how yesterday it was? Look at it now. It was all like cloudy and clear almost type of thing. It, these are like simple, little simple things to put on before I got work. So these are the things I got. I got some LED blinking brake lights by Ala Lighting. A, is it Ala or Ala? Ala, Ala, something. And I have the wide angle rear view mirror as well. So remember I told you guys I wanted to get that long piece mirror here. So I think it's called a five panel mirror. And the, the bad thing about those is that you have to remove your visors and then you have to, then you have to like drill it in into the car. So I was just not trying to do that, lose my visors, especially in New Mexico, the sun would be crazy. And I'm not trying to lose that. So this thing literally just clips on over your mirror. So, so far, all I can see is just out the back window. Let's see how it looks with this guy on. Yo, this thing is crazy. Like, I can see pretty much like all the, way in the, like, all the corners. Like, look at that. Like, that thing is like brolic and you can see everything. That is crazy. This is, this is, so it's gonna take me some time to get used to this though. Okay, in front. So now that this guy is on, that's pretty easy. It literally just clips on to the back on your original mirror. So there's no, because with the five panel, you have to remove your original mirror, remove your visors. Like I was not trying to do all of that. So let's get these blinking brake lights on as well. All right, so it's pretty windy out, out here. So hope you guys can hear me. But all you need to do, cause I'm in the trunk now, you just need to take off this little screw thing and this one here. And I think it's like, this is only two? I guess it's only two. The video I watched two had three. This thing, this carpet's not even like in right. I didn't even notice this. 
So let me take this out and I'll probably fix it like it's supposed to when I change the boat. Yo, yeah, I hear this wind, son. This thing is crazy. So what you can use is literally like a screwdriver and turn these clips out. The dude I watched um, did this. He had like some type of prior, prior tool, but we don't got that. See, look, it screws right up. And voila, let's put the screw somewhere safe so we don't lose it. Let's get the, oh yeah, see it's right here. Okay, here's the other one right here. I was like, I know there was like three of them. And I'm not bugging. Hand screw this thing out. These things, is like these little plastic are so delicate though, so you gotta be careful. It is weird though that this uh, lining is kind of out. Both sides is kind of out. I don't know what the heck the last owner is doing. This one. Oh shoot. Okay. So you have to take, take these clips out because if you don't, they're gonna be flying like torpedoes. And then you just pull back the carpet, and then you can see your your lining system here. So you can see pretty much this guy's my brake light. That's what I'm gonna change. And literally all you do is just twist it out. I don't know if you, I think you yeah. Boom, yeah, there you go. Oh, it's my signal, what the hell am I doing? Wrong, wrong light. This is my brake light down here. This is my brake light down here. You just turn it and pull it out. All right, so I just pull out my brake light. And then I'm just gonna pull the bulb right out. I do apologize for the wind noise. It's like windy as hell. And you just pull it out and that's pretty much it. So these these fit pretty much uh, 740, 740-40 to 7443. Pretty much this is how the new LEDs look. And all you do is just plug it in and push that guy right back in there counterclockwise and boom that's it so before i get to the other side i'm gonna test these out see if they work it's daytime and i'm by myself so i don't know how the hell i'm gonna do this all right i just did a test and i got a good angle and you guys seen it work so tonight i'm gonna show you how it works in the nighttime as well look at that so previous owner broke this clip good job jeffrey no one of these carpets is not even in here, right? So the clips are broken. I might have to get a uh, a plastic kit set, whatever. All right, so we got those LEDs installed. I'm actually excited because I locked the car, and you know how usually your lights will flash to let you know it's locked and the horn will beep, whatever. And they look much brighter than usual. I've always wanted blinking brake lights ever since I seen another YouTuber. He put it on his. I hit EK Civic. All right, it's now nighttime, and I'm gonna show you guys how it look when I press the brakes. Ooh, it's cute. I like it. All right, guys, it's the next morning again. Um, I have another dude that came in the mail. Like, look at the packaging this thing came in. Like, if this this thing could have broke, like they didn't. They just put this thing in like a little sleeve and just sent it. Oh, one thing I even told you guys. So Michelle got me this leather, uh, like, key sleeve cover thing, which is pretty cool. And it come with a little braided lanyard thing. It's pretty cool. What's in the package is a LED kit. So as I'm editing the video right now, I noticed that the roof liner is, like, dirty up there. The whole SI is, like... Like, I, I didn't get the detail because the SI is filthy. Like, I, I did not know Honda allow you to have a zoo in your car. Like, that thing is, like, destroyed. So, that whole headliner is just destroyed. So, sorry about that. Bear with me. Um, it's I'm going to get that thing detailed one of these days. And what this is going to change is all of my, uh, like, my little lights. So, like, my map lights, my dome light, and my, I believe, my trunk light and my license plate light as well. But I'm gonna start first with the map light. So they're like really dull and yellow. This one don't think even work. Yeah, this one done and look how dull it is. So these are LEDs, so they should be a lot brighter. I mean the nighttime, you should be able to see a better visual of them, but 
I'll probably show that in another video. To remove your dome lights in the 8 Gen, pretty much you push in this side and then you put like something flat and pry out that side. Took one off. Freaking this little guy here got destroyed in there. I don't know how the hell he even got in there. While the bulb is off, I apologize if the quality is kind of weird. My phone can do as much as it can. So I'm gonna pretty much put the the, screw, the flathead in there and just pop it out. Out with the old and in with the new. Okay, I got that place in there. It was kind of weird just now. Look how, look how bright that is. All right guys, so pretty much you push in one side and then you pop out the other side. It's that easy. Make sure the light is off so you don't have a hot bulb you're taking out. And then you just use this and literally pop the old one out. But just be careful though, you don't, you don't wanna break nothing. And pops right out. And I believe you should you should get like three of these LEDs have like three of these leds so they're all for your dome lights and then literally put it back in oh there we go and then just put the little covers back on and you're all set and then these just pop right back in pretty much Look at that, LEDs. And remember the light one, the left one was actually out too, so that's gonna look really nice in the night. So now I gotta pop off that guy in the back. Whoever had this car definitely had kids because I don't know why this roof is destroyed like this. Even this, I had to wipe this down just now. But for this dome light, it's pretty much easy to take off. All you have to do is, so you get your flathead and then there's like two tabs and you just kind of pull on the tabs and then it'll fall right out. So pretty much there's like a tab right here and a tab right here, just put your flathead in there. And this uses the same bulb as the one in the front, so I'm just gonna take this, pop this guy out. Probably could do it by hand. And boop, and then the LED, literally just push that guy right in. And then you just push it right in. And that's it. I mean, it's kind of hard doing this with one. For the dome light, it's pretty much this guy right here. All right, so pretty much, so this is the original bulb. Literally, this is a little socket piece right here. You just pull it right out. And the uh, map light, uh, map light, the interior trunk light and the license plate lights are the same. Go ahead and do the same thing. So I'm just gonna slide this bad boy right in. It slides in just like that and put it right back in. Look at that LED. And for the trunk, literally, all you do is clip off that it, thing off, and then and once you unclip it, you pull these sides, and it comes right out. And here's one of the bolts. And then literally, you pull this bad boy out. This one's kind of snug in there. So this freaking bolt would not come out. Literally, I broke the freaking bolt trying to take it out, so hopefully it didn't mess up in there. But yeah, this thing was fighting with me. I managed not to break the second one, what I had to do is these things, I don't know why these things don't want to come out. So what I had to do is pretty much while I was in here, I put a towel over it and then had to get my vice grips and slow and just put it right over it and slowly wiggle it out. For the first one, I squeezed it, broke the glass. So thank God I didn't break this one at least. So now I got glass all over my trunk, I gotta clean that up. And then literally all you have to do is plug it in play, just push it in there. I don't know if they go in a certain, like even going in there pretty hard, like it's freaking, I don't know why they made this thing so difficult. All right, slapped it in there. That was freaking hard, I don't know why. So you have to make sure this plastic piece is facing towards the back and literally you push it back in there and then plug this right back in. Let's see if it works. So one works, but others not. They said that if you 
If you put it in and it doesn't work, you gotta flip the rotation of the um, of the bolt. Hopefully, this thing's not, it's not gonna take 10 years to take out. All right, so I flipped them and now they're both working. Somebody threw away a TV. They're crazy. And just like that, the LED kit is installed. This video is just little things you can change to make your car a little bit better. Um, the LED kit should be definitely nice at night, especially the license plate as well. Lincoln brake lights, the mirror, everything. So the next episode should pretty much should be uh, us bringing Belly to her first car meet. And that should be the next few days. Um, but I do want to thank you guys for watching and any little update I'm gonna do on the SI, I'm gonna give you guys an episode on it. Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna see you in the next episode.